is Common a serial dater unwilling to commit to Jennifer Hudson? There are two sides to every story, but there's only one backstory. Rapper Common stares profusely at his phone on the table. Anticipation of a phone call had him pondering his mind for hours. Jennifer Hudson, his girlfriend, marched into the room. Her smile was big and bold, like a warm embrace from an old friend. Are we going out to dinner? Common's troubled eyes looked past her. His hope of conjuring up an excuse failed him. Common, did you hear what I just said? A cell phone in the adjacent room began to ring. Jennifer's eyes were like a descending sunset, casting a menacing glow over the room. She focused on his phone that sat on the table. How was your phone ringing from the other room? His reply was shaky and timid. I have two phones, baby. The phone in the room is for work purposes only. After only three rings, the phone abruptly stopped. You know they say the best way to find out if you trust someone is to trust them. Jennifer absorbed his words cavalierly. So dinner tonight? My niece is in town. Remember, I told you she'll be staying with us for a few days. Wow, that totally slipped my mind. I need to scoop her up from the airport. Common lifted from his chair. His lips caressed Jennifer's neck while simultaneously imprinting a warm sensation down her spine. She was in love after years of looking. Common exited the house. She watched him speed away from the window. Suddenly, Common's phone blared from the next room, ringing only three times before going dead. Jennifer glared at the phone from the hall. She was overcome by a tingling sensation in her fingers, then her legs. She stood paralyzed over his phone, but garnered the courage to walk away. Later that evening, Common gleefully entered the house with his niece, Bree. She was striking, hourglass figures, shimmering white teeth, and an enduring presence that stayed with you long after she was gone. I'm Bree. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jennifer. Make yourself at home. You'll be in the room down the hall on the left. Common helped his niece with her bags. Jennifer lingered until he returned. Hey, there's been something I've been meaning to ask you. Sure. What's up? No judgment here. But are we going to talk about your past relationships? They're in the past for a reason, Jen. Common's jaw tightened. We talked about this, Jen. I'm a free spirit. It takes me a while to settle down. It's not the settling down that worries me. It's the getting back up again. A fresh swell of rage rose in Common's belly. My niece is in the next room and you want to talk about past relationships? No, I'd rather talk about trust and honesty. I'm a Pisces. We are compassionate lovers. For us, commitment don't come easy. Resentment grew inside her like cancer, taking out each organ one by one. Okay, I believe in you. Jennifer exhaled and temporarily sidelined her emotions. Bree, can you come into the living room for a second? Hey, what's up? I'm sure it's great seeing your cousin Common after all these years. Bree glared at Jennifer, then Common. Her smile beamed with confidence. Yes, yes it is. I love my cousin. Flares of anger flickered at the tips of Jennifer's words. She turned to Common. Wait, I thought you said she was your niece.